personal fitness trainer. I call this workout the hotel workout or the vacation workout because, you know, for all us fitness people, we get a little stressed out if we can't work out when we go away. Because for those of us that are really into it, we want to keep doing it. And for those of you that aren't into it, that's okay. You can do this too. And this, so this workout is designed just for that. But let me also mention, you don't have to go on vacation or you don't have to go to a hotel to do this workout. You can do it anyway for a change up. So get your gear on because we're gonna get started. So here's what we're gonna do. This is a resistance band and they come all different now. So for instance, let's say that pet, that's a resistance tube and that goes up to like 30 pounds. Okay, if you want, they have all kinds. They have 20, 25, 40, you can go on up. So these things are perfect to take on vacation. You just throw it right up in your bag. Look at that. You got a workout. So some of these exercises I am using the band and the others you're using your own body weight. So let's get started. So the first one. I'm going to do is a chest exercise because we're going to be doing chest, back, thighs, and tries. So you can do all that in your hotel room or anytime. So let me just demo and I'll tell you what I can.
I'm sweating in here. It's hot out today. Okay. Uh, I always say that lately, but that's okay. I like warm weather. So, you're not going to be raising very high for those. And you're not trying for that one to work your lower back. So, if you lift up too much, you're going to pull your lower back. You're not doing that. It's just your upper back muscles. So, you saw how I did it, but your thumb, you're wide like a Y and your thumbs are up. And you're just trying to lift up this part of your body. And you get a really good, I'll tell you what, I'll just do like two or three facing the other direction. I'll move my hair out of the way. Maybe you can see the upper back muscles moving. So here we are. You won't be doing many of those. So, anyway, hopefully you saw uh, my back muscles on that one. So, that's called the Y raise. Okay, and then I'll, I'll put down up above, you know, how many reps you might want to do for those. Okay, now you're going to work the lower back. So now you are going to work that area. And this one is called a low back extension. And again, it's a really good one. I did it on another video. Now, uh, for this one, just let me go ahead and do it, and then I'll tell you. Uh, down again, on the ground, your own body's resistance. Okay, so, that is a great one for your lower back. So, my hands are like this in front of me, and your face is down the whole time, as you saw. So you don't lift your face off, keep it on there. And I'm just raising my upper arms off the floor. And that's going to catch your lower back. So that's called low back extension. And I'll, I'd say for those, I will name 12 to 15 reps is what you'd want to do for that. So there you are, you got a low back workout. All right, next, biceps. And uh, I'm just gonna switch my camera mode and we're gonna do those with the band again. Okay, so I'm gonna have you do, cause it's really good and it's a hard, and it's a change up for you to do for your workout anytime. Single arm dumbbell, single arm resistance band curl. So what you're gonna do is you gotta figure out the tension by stepping on it. So step on it with your front foot, so if I work the right, it's the right foot. And you can hold on to that or let it drop on the floor, doesn't matter. Stagger position, holding the elbow in close. So here I go, and I'm a little bit staggered. Here I go. Oh, that's a little too tight. You'll know when you check it out. Here we go. I'll just do like six. Again. Six. Down. Oh, yeah, it gets really hard because you're doing single arm. So then after that, you go ahead and do the other side. The other side will stand over here. And again, you got to step on it and test it out. You can drop that down, or this time I'll hold on to it, but it doesn't matter. And left foot, left arm for the bicep curl. And here we go. Down. I'll do six. Five, down. Six. Down. And keep that elbow in close by. Don't lift it up or off. Okay, so there you got a good bicep. Alright, and the last one is for your triceps. So let me just adjust this. Okay. Alrighty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Step on this with the back leg. Now you probably want to let out the tension a bit, because if you have it too tight, you'll never be able to swing it around. So let me try her there. 
back leg. Now, once I am here, I'm gonna twist it around like this. Now I got, I'm grabbing it with both arms and it's overhead. Pressing it up and down. Up, straight up my arms and down. Up, down, up, down, up. And then pause here. Remember I say pause. Free it up. None of that. So now watch how I come out of this. Swing the arm around. That's really important again. She will get your shoulder out of whack if you come out of it. You have to replay this video. Play it. You watch how I did that. All right. I'll do a back view so you can see. All right. So let's go back here. Stepping on it. The back foot. All right. Here we are. Staggered position. Got it here. Oh, that's too much, see? I won't do it, it's too tight. So here, let me try it here. Here we are. That's one. Two. Three. Four. I'll just do six. Five. Six. Watch how I come out. I drop it. And come around. So there you have it. I'm telling you what, that's a good workout. And again, it's not just for hotel or vacation, but it's for, you can pack it up and put it away. And there are no excuses why you can't work out when you go away. So, give me a moment, because I have some quotes for you. So my first quote is by Ralph Waldo Emerson. And you know how I love him. He's a famous poet from the past, and he said, men succeed when they realize that their failures are preparation for their victories. So what's that tell you? It tells you you're gonna fail before you have a victory. It's part of how it all goes. There's nothing wrong with that. Stay the course. Okay, and my second quote is, a river cuts through rock, not because of its power, but because of its perseverance. So, I like that one, think on that. So, until next time, I'll see ya.